So today, guys, we're going to add or subtract improper fractions. Again, the key is having a common denominator. So if you have 15 6 and you're subtracting 7 thirds, you can't just subtract it. You have to find a common denominator. Well, I know 3 goes into 6, so 6 could be my common denominator. So how am I going to change this into a 6? I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, right? So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6. 7 times 2 is 14. Now I can subtract 15, 6 minus 14, 6 equals 1, 6. Because 15 minus 14 is 1. That's all you have to do. Find a common denominator. Same with this problem down below. I have 24 tenths. That's an improper fraction. And I'm adding it to 13 fifths. Again, okay, they both go into 5 or they both go into 10. I'm going to make this one a 10 because that's easier, I think. So... I'm going to make that one a 10. So what times 5 gets me 10? Yeah, 2. Again, whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do, or the denominator, you have to do the numerator. Okay, so 13 times 2 is 26. So I have 26 tenths, and I'm adding that to 24 tenths. So that would be a total of 50 tenths as my improper fraction, okay? So again, the key is finding a common denominator. Once you find that common denominator and they're both the same, then you can go ahead and subtract them. All right, guys, have fun doing your problems on adding and subtracting improper fractions. Bye.